Okay, so you're interested in centering the title in a WordPress post. So in this case, you're referring to your H1 heading of which you should only have one in your entire article. And as it turns out, your blog post default title alignment is totally dependent on the specific theme that you've selected. So in other words, in order to change the alignment, you need to change the code or override it for your theme. So there's four ways to do that and let's jump right in. First and foremost, the easiest method if it's available to you is the theme customizer option. So let's head over to WordPress. We'll go to appearance, customize. And Mike and I for Niche Twins use the Generate Press theme. And under typography, if we scroll down to H1 heading, use the drop down to see the additional options. And you can see you can change pretty much everything from font, font weight, a lot of different features that can be adjusted for your H1 with the exception of alignment, which is interesting. So in our case, this, this option won't work, but it's quick and easy to check and it's, and it's the fastest approach, so it's worth the time. But, um, and I did poke around on the Generate Press forums and it sounds like this may be a feature that's gonna be added in the future if there's enough demand. But this is method number one. If you don't have this functionality, jump on to method number two. Okay, your second option is to use a plugin called Simple CSS. Let's head back over to WordPress. If you don't have the plugin already installed, you'll head over to Plugins, Add New. In the search field, type Simple CSS. Once it loads, click Install Now, followed by Activate. And once the plugin is activated, you'll notice that under Appearance, Simple CSS will appear. Click it. You now can see an open text field. We'll go back over to the post and we're gonna copy this custom CSS code here. Paste it into the simple CSS field and click save CSS. This will now center your title across your entire website for all posts. But what's great about this plugin is if you go to an individual post or page, click edit. And once you're within the edit field for a post, Simple CSS actually has the option to include this code all the way at the bottom. So sorry for the scrolling here. Just at the bottom of your post or page, you'll see this simple CSS field. You can actually paste the code here. And by doing so, you'll only center the title for this specific page or post. So it gives you greater uh, functionality if you desire to have differences across your website. This is the best method for you. A third option to consider is to use the additional CSS field within your theme customizer. If you don't want to download yet another plugin and you don't need to have the option of changing individual post and page title alignment, in other words, you're okay with this update being site-wide, this is definitely the best approach for you. So head back over to WordPress, go to Appearance, Customize, and then once your theme options load for all themes, you'll scroll to the bottom of the subcategories that are listed and you'll see additional CSS. We'll scroll to the bottom of the text field here. We'll make some space for our new code. And we're gonna paste in the exact same custom CSS code as before, just this time into the additional CSS field. Hit publish. And then you'll notice that this center alignment has been implemented across your entire site. The fourth and final method I'm detailing here is to use a child theme. So because of the way that additional CSS is referenced in the final code, it can sometimes result in slower page loading times. And that will lead some site owners to edit the child theme style.css file code instead. You use a child theme instead of the main theme because every time your developer updates the overall theme and pushes that out to WordPress, you will lose any updates that you make to the main theme. Not the case with the child theme, they'll stick around. So if you were interested in doing this, you'd have to first create the child theme. It's beyond the scope of this video, but there is a link here to learn how to do that. And then once created, you'll go to WordPress, appearance, and instead of theme file editor here, you'll go to child file editor instead. And then you'll go to style.css and you'll enter the same code here. A final point to make is that 
this is overkill for the vast majority of, of content and niche site owners. Uh, it's over engineering the solution. If you have less than a thousand lines of additional code, typically that's a good threshold to say, stick with the other methods that I've described here. Thanks for listening. If you found this video helpful, throw us a like, subscribe, and check out nichetwins.com for additional blogging tips and resources.